Do you know what this is? This is groin. It is a structure that extended perpendicularly from the shore into the sea, where it will prevent longshore drift according to the wave direction. It is constructed out of stone, metal, or timber. Briefly on the history of groin. First groin was built out of wood in the 1720s, where it was built to protect the Brighton's coastline. The first concrete groin was built in 1867 at East Street. It is a free promenade pier of 195 feet long. And now, features of groins. There are various shapes of groins. Straight, bent or curve, T shape, or Y shape. As for the cross sections, it will be determined based on the material used. There are a few types of groins such as wooden groins, sheet pile groins, concrete groins, rubble mound groins made of concrete blocks or stones, as well as sandfield bag groins. An example of successful groin. Pantai Ban Pecah Tanjung Tiandang Perak In Pantai Ban Pecah, groin A was built longer than groin B. This design was due to the regular incoming wave from southwest direction. The height of both structures varies from 1.7 meter to 1.8 meter above mean sea level. From the interview with the locals, ever since the revetment and groin had been built, there is no obvious erosion along the shoreline, and there is also no significant sedimentation occurs as no dredging required for the past 10 years. In Pantai Ban Pecha, JPS Korean built two rows of groin at each of the tidal gates. Both groins act as protection from longshore drift to ensure no sedimentation occur at the opening of the tidal gate. If sedimentation occurred at the opening of the gate, water from the stream will not properly channel out to the sea and it will lead to the upstream flood. Looking at the condition of the channel as well as the information gained from the locals, we deduce that these groins function properly in terms of protecting the tidal gate as well as providing calm area for the boats. Unsuccessful example of groin Hell Peninsula, South Baltic Sea, Northern Poland the construction of breakwater on the lee side of the harbour of Vadilsovovo had led to the erosion along the shoreline. The groin system was decided to be used to stabilise the shore. The groins were constructed from 1946 until 1969 by using timber palisades. After it had failed once using concrete due to the corrosion of the reinforcement, the palisades were believed to provide permeability structure which can decrease undesired rip current. Unfortunately, it failed. The factors that lead to the failure of the groins. Ice loads. Insufficient depth for the pile. The incorrect design's assumption. And decaying of material due to fungi. In conclusion, groin designs must take in consideration of literal processes, functional design, and structural design. The design condition consists of planning horizon, groin permeability, groin length, groin spacing, groin orientation, groin crest level and width, design scour level, and groin field layout. 
leaving the site specific design parameter which based on hydrodynamics condition, an example groin height and length, factors such as groin material and configuration can be essential design consideration to make it more effective. It is found that groin that used rock has better performance than timber. However, new armor concrete units such as handbar is used to substitute rock when quarry rock is not available. The armor concrete unit is more economical to be used in a certain places and provide the same degree of protection. As coastal processes in a groin systems are complex and the groin design is largely based on accrued empirical methods, it is not always possible to ensure groin performance at the design stage. Post-project appraisal is therefore of vital importance in assessing the actual performance and adequacy of the design methodology. Ha ha ha.